2023 presidency. Why is anybody not bothered about granting live TV interviews? Angela Ajay welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we we'll post our juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. As the race for the presidency intensified in the country's political space, veteran broadcaster and journalist Angela Ajay has come out to share her thoughts on why the All Progressives Congress APC presidential flag bearer Asiwaji Bola Metunabu is not bothered with appearing on any live television. Live television interview. Recall that for quite some time now, there have been calls from opposition camps, media hours and journalists for the former Lagos governor to face the media and answer questions bothering on the most critical issues that affect Nigerians whose vote he seeks to emerge victorious on the ballot in 2023. Quite interestingly, in July 2022, the presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress. Quite interestingly, in July 2022, the Democratic Party PDP Al Haji Atik Wabubaka threw a public challenge at Tenbo to emulate him by granting an hour long interview as any independent media outfit in the country. However, speaking on the issue during an interview session with seasoned journalist Jimmy Disu on Nigeria Info FM, some hours ago, I did to Moby opinion that Tenobo is not bothered about granting live television interviews because his party has adopted a different approach of conversing the electorate for precious votes at the upcoming polls, adding that it might not feel compared to, to the path of traditional campaign methods of speaking to Nigerians through live interviews. She said that apart from owning various print and electronic media platforms that campaign rigorously for him daily, the former Lagos governor and the All Progressive Congress have an army of foot shoulders that he is counting on today campaigning on his behalf. Well, Nigerians, I want to believe, say, uh, our mood on do. Now, person will come and say, come, you know, campaign, come marketing products, now he will go vote for. He wants to run Nigeria by proxy, God forbid. We are not going to experience another Buhari. Like I said, the ball is certainly in the course of Nigerians. If Nigerian like, may them come outside, do the needful. If they don't like, let them don't come out. Because me, I strongly feel, seeing a person will market himself, just like other uh, presidential candidates are going out to market themselves, you know, coming out to tell Nigerians how they're going to solve in our problems. Not just this is the problem, this is the solution. They're also making Nigerians understand that they're capable of solving their problems. That is how it is supposed to be. This is not a matter of you're copying this, you're copying that. If you know common psychon talk, say na now, when you want people's vote, so that people can even understand or even know what they're capable of. So now when you know get and you know need people, you're not going to come and say, come talk. Now him joy, no wahala. Nigerians, make sure say, I know they, I know they vote along lines of sentiment or, you know, uh, uh, what's it called? Make sure you're not voting. Make sure you're not voting along um, sentiment. Uh, sentiment. Make sure you're voting for uh, what's it called? Compet com competency, credibility, and capability. All right. Hear yeah, what a so-called senator season journalist is saying. Very unpatriotic comment. So we should not hear our president speak to us directly because he has to show us. It is not our president, you, Egbam, you. It is a presidential, uh, APC presidential candidate. Not even my presidential candidate. Not even my presidential candidate at all. He should come out, you know, make people. This is a very, this is the only time. I keep saying this is the only period presidential candidates you can ask them questions. Ask them what color they like. Ask them what food. I'm just playing, sure. This is the only time they will come out to answer you. This is a time where presidential candidates, eh? This is the only time and period they will come outside and answer you. You ask them questions, they answer you. Ah, we heard that you looted this fund, so you come outside and you say, no, you're not looted. This is what you do, you know. This is how you do it. You can even go and check or ask and, you know, and find out facts about what they're asking you. But you answer them. You understand? This is a time where you will hear that, oh, you said this, you come back and say, oh, you don't say it. You know, this is a time where you give us a blueprint. Just like a marketer who wants to sell, who wants to make sales. She, well, she has a target. You have to keep marketing every time. This is not a matter of food soldiers. Your food soldier, what are they doing? Is it not to share, uh, what's it called? I said I'm sharing recharge card before. Now they are sharing their, what's it called, BRT, whatever, buses cards. 
Now, I think I saw beans and rice. Is that what your food soldiers are doing to convince people to vote for them? That's too poor. And the Nigerians, we could not take back in the country. This angel of a girl must be debilitating, <laughs> must be <laughs> irrational, and a half big journalist. So, a politician that is vying for the highest post in the country is subterfugiously dodging a common interview with the press and has refused to face the people he's about to rule. Yet, you have the temerity to stand at his spokesperson to give a lame excuse, a big pack well. <laughs> hey! And see, see, it is not that I'm, I am, I am actually trying now to, 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 to agree with the terms that, you know, you cannot, you cannot campaign for a particular, um, presidential candidate and you sound very rational. There is no, you campaign for me, you don't sound irrational. I am, as in, it is beginning to, to, to all be clear. All right. Angela. And you are a good fit with it, and you are good with it, rather, that someone looking for such job cannot afford to ignore the people he intends to lead, eh, but can afford to want such city boy or boy Chicago. It's either he's not fit or he's very arrogant. If he becomes the president, he will continue to use proxies typical of Buhari. Okay, proxies typical of Buhari, and guess what Nigerians are already forgetting how it feels like addressing by the president. I don't tell, sincerely, you, the last time we felt. We felt the presence of the presidency was when Jonathan was there. He came out to address issues live. He does not shy away from the press. I don't know if you all understand me. It's been a long time. I don't think many of us can even remember. You know, issues will happen like this. He don't come outside. You understand? But this one, issues will happen. Even the sitting presidency will take him days. Even the day he gone, what's he even come out to say? People will be like, it would have been better had he been not, had he been, he did not even come out to say anything. I agree with you on those proxy governors. It will be too bad. It may end up, it may end up like running it like Buhari, who doesn't address the base, the basin, or the basis on national burning issues. I think we should think well. This is only matter of think. We should think well. You should make sure you scrut as in, use touch and touch light your candidate very well, the one you want to vote for. Make sure, make sure you're convinced. Eh? You are convinced very well that this person is the right person for the job because you won't, we cannot afford to blow our opportunity to make Nigeria a better country. Hmm. All right. What value, what value exactly does life interview add to the emergence of a contested in the election? Wow. It is, this is not even about value. If they pay me when politicians or some people, members of the electorate come out and all they're talking about is about winning the election. So you don't even talk about the welfare of yourself and your people. Even if you want to talk about everybody. Ha. Now, wow. All right. On this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you.